It's June 7th. Hey, Mom. I graduated today. Wish you were here. you be in here. Hey. Are you given up on graduation? Well, the cap and gown costs $80 to rent, so I thought I'd buy some alcohol instead. Well, I hope you cleaned the beaker. What about the tradition of graduation day? Hmm? I should be out there. Well, I'd hope to meet your family. Well, I don't think you'll have too much luck there. You've been my best student, Preston, probably ever. So don't take this the wrong way. But am I your only friend? Because you've achieved so much, so quickly. You deserve to celebrate. Promise me that you'll try. Hmm? Okay. So, um, you go to school here? Yeah. Why haven't I ever seen you before? I don't get out much. Hey, come on! First date ever. So, are you normally uh, into the violent types, <laughs> or uh... <laughs> no? <laughs> so just an exception. Yeah, I uh, kind of one of my uh, lack of judgment moments. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just kind of look like a pimp right now. Huh? <laughs> Don't come on. My leg. Okay. What? All right. What? What are Just you doing? Just roll with this. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, that's um a lot easier. Yeah. You don't look like an idiot anymore. Hey. <laughs> My name is Preston. Okay. <laughs> So that'd be 
did political science together freshman year. We did? So I remember the first time I saw you, you don't even know who I am? Well, apparently you don't get out much. Fair enough. <laughs> It was a pleasure bandaging you, and uh, <laughs> you see, I obviously helped. So definitely, you you know you should uh, you should be like a nurse or something. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, that's what I should do. <laughs> I'll look into that. You should. Good night. Hey, would you think I was crazy if I asked you to drive me home? Didn't we just do that? Yeah, um, no, I I'm moving back home to Florida on an island. <laughs> my, my parents already flew back and I kind of hate flying and it's, it's a beautiful drive and, and you would love the island. You're serious? If you don't, you probably never see me again. Um. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're tipsy, and I've only known you for about 60 minutes. <laughs> True, but in the last hour, you bandaged up my leg, helped me escape a party by a bathroom window, and carried me home. It's a good hour. The goodbye would be rough. Well, maybe we just met too late. Why won't you take me home? <laughs> Only for rational reasons. No irrational ones? <laughs> no. Okay, so what are you doing next week? I, I don't know. Okay, so drive me to Florida and I promise you it will be an adventure. Please. Will you pay for gas and tolls? Most definitely. And my parents have a hotel on the island, and you could totally stay for free. Parents have a hotel on an island? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. fancy hotel for free. I'm not even really sure how. We never went anywhere, did we? I like to stay home a lot, I remember. That was fine. It didn't matter. I didn't need to go anywhere. You're Preston Plummer, right? Yeah, that's me. Kate's grandfather, John, he was hoping to see you before dinner. He wants to do that now? Yep. Here's directions to his place. And listen, don't worry about Tip in the Valley on the way out. They've already been told you're a friend of the Cathars. <laughs> My name is John Percy. That's a good name, don't you think? Yes, it is, sir. 
And I guess you met my friend, Dory Ray. I don't think so. She's the one who brought you to me. The girl who gave you the note. Sorry, yes. Huh. She called me as soon as she knew that you were in the hotel. Only person I can still count on. Hmm. What about Kate? Hmm. You know, that bridge you came over on, I own everything from that bridge to here to half a mile south of here. You know who leases my land? No. Nobody. Hmm. It's me and a mile of forest. Congratulations. For what? For being lonely? <laughs> the trees don't talk much. <laughs> sure, they whisper, but it's hard to hear them. <laughs> Ever hear a tree whisper? And say that I have, sir. You know what's going to happen to this land when I die? No. Easement. Land easement. That means it gets turned over to the state. Nobody can ever build on it. In fact, I own a bunch of land. And that's what's going to happen to all of it. I haven't sold a single piece of it to the damn developers. Only problem is, Jesus, I, I need new clothes. <laughs> I need a, a new TV, too. You know? Well, I can't even afford my damn medication. Well, forgive me for asking, sir, but why don't you... Um... Are you calling me, sir? Because you were significantly my senior? <laughs> significantly, your senior, huh? You got some class in you, boy. Kate's got class, too. I, I, I don't know what class is, but she certainly has grace. Class is refinement. What's grace? Effortless charm. You're sweeter, my granddaughter. Maybe. She's sweet on me? How would I know? Well, I mean, you talk to her. No. No? How do you feel about riddles, pro con? If you don't talk to Kate, then why am I here? Mm -hmm. I want to tell you a riddle. Tell me why I'm here. Why is a mouse when it spins? I don't know. Because the higher it flies, the much. I don't. I don't get it. Well, an easier one, then. Is it farther to New York or by train? That doesn't make any sense. Yes, exactly. No sense at all. Hmm. People do things that make no sense, Preston. Like what you're doing right now? No, no. I'm only saying people can do some pretty senseless things, you know, horrible things. People lie. People lie about me, Preston. I'm gonna tell you things about me that aren't true. My family doesn't like me too much. <laughs> but it, it's senseless. That's all I want to tell you. That's why you're here. I'm 
mean, you no harm, young man. Hey there. Hi. Preston. Hi nice there. Nice to meet you, Preston. Jessica. Hey, excellent to meet you, Preston. Thank you so much for the room. It's very You're nice. Welcome. Glad it works for you. Yeah, it's it's incredible here. Thank you. Have you ever been to this island before? I've actually never been south of the Mason Dixon line. Oh. No. No. You don't like to travel? Uh, I can't really afford it, unfortunately. Well, then we are that much happier that we could give you such a nice room. No, thanks again. You're welcome. So, um, I just met John. I don't know whose father he is, but he's a interesting guy. Told me some weird riddles. You met my father, John. So he's your father? Yes. I just, just met him. How? How did you meet him? I, I got an invitation. What did she say to you? Uh, just riddles. That, that was it. That's all he said. You know what? Excuse me, but how, how do you know my father? I don't. I got an invitation. He's related to Kate. I thought it was the polite thing to do. I... Look, I know, I know that you don't know what you're doing. But you might want to think about never doing it again. Issues. Dinner with Dad was fun. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's a chatty one. <laughs> but um, my mom thinks you're totally innocent, so all's good. I have no idea what's going on. Trust me, you, uh, you don't want me to tell you all my horrible family issues. Can you, um, can you promise me something, though? I'll never go over there again. Okay. Aren't the stars amazing? What? You don't like stars? Everybody likes stars. So... You know that 74% of the universe is made up of something that we don't really understand called dark energy? And did you know that the universe is expanding and will continue to do so until it completely dissolves into nothing? Wait a minute. You're that science kid, aren't you? I like science. No, I read about you in the school paper. You won an award or something. I did. So in the fall, the University of Chicago is going to give me a stipend to pursue a geeky science degree. That's awesome. Thank you. What are you going to study? Numbers. <laughs> and Come on, tell me. Physics. Entropy, to be more specific. Grandpa was a physicist. When I was little, we were sitting on a table, and I was trying to get him to explain to me the theory of the universe. And he grabbed a glass out of the cupboard, and he set it on the table, and he said, Press, imagine that this is what the universe once was. And this is what it's doing now. And he just pushed it off the table and let it shatter on the floor. It's dark. 
and centrally. Things tend to fall apart when they come together. Wow. I didn't know uh, geeks had such interesting things to say. <laughs> You're sweet. No, I'm serious. I don't know. I think it's cool that you know about all that kind of stuff. You don't get to meet a genius every day. Not a genius. It's not what the school newspaper said. I don't really <laughs> know if it works that way. I'd be willing to bet that you know some things that I don't know. I do. Like, I bet I can swim faster than you. Prove it. I will. You have to turn around, though. You have to turn around, too. Fine. No peeking. Hey, Preston? Yeah? Are you glad that you came down here? Because I'm, I'm glad you came down here. I'm having more fun with you than I had at any moment with anyone in college. Cheer. There. I don't know, it just, it just feels so safe and quiet, you know? See this? Yeah. When I was younger, I found out something, and ever since then, they, uh, they just never stopped shaking. The left one, it stops sometimes, but the right one is always shaking. Even just a little bit. One time, it got really bad, and I got really scared, and, and uh, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I did something really stupid, and I uh, threw all the living room furniture in the pool. And I dove down, and I stayed under there as long as I could. I thought it would make my hands feel better or something, you know? But. I think I almost drowned. Is that like, is that like entropy? It is if your hands never stop shaking. Yeah, and they won't. someone. Her name's Kate. I don't know her very well, but I, I think you'd like her. I mean, I, I like her. Last night I dreamt she was underwater. Don't know what that means. When I was older, before he died, I asked Grandpa if the story he used to tell of the glass breaking was really an ending, or just the beginning of something else. He wouldn't answer. I asked Kate to give us a few minutes so that I could apologize to you. My daughter tells me you, you're a very, very sweet boy, and I... First, I'm really sorry for the way that Walter and I reacted to you last night. I'm just a mother looking out for her daughter, Preston. Apology accepted. Good. And thanks again for the room. I'm gonna be here. This is, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful hotel. 
Oh, thank you. You're, it's, well, it's been our dream. It's been our dream for so long. How long have you had it? Well, it's not even five years old. We've been planning it for 10 years now, but we had to wait until we had the right amount of money for the right piece of land. But I, honestly, we spent Katie's entire childhood saving money. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was certainly worth it. You have your dream now. We do. Yes, we do. So, um, what were you and my mom talking about earlier? She apologized and then told me she spent the better half of your childhood saving up for the land for the hotel. How much was the land, if you don't mind me asking? Um, they never really told me how much. I mean, they bought the land from my grandfather, and we don't really talk about my grandfather. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's kind of unavoidable. It's like some legend around here, you know? I think he was like Florida's first environmentalist or something. Well, if he was an environmentalist, why would he let your mom help the land? I don't know. I mean, I don't really talk to or about him that much, and my mom never really liked him. I think she was always just kind of bitter because of the way she had to grow up, because of his ideals. You know, when she was little, he owned more land on this island than anyone. And he'd never sell it to the developers, so sometimes he couldn't even put dinner on the table. He put his family through hell just because of the land. Yeah, I, I guess that would make me pretty angry. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. I have all these reasons to hate him. And I do hate him. But, I don't know. Sometimes I'm proud of the way he tried to protect it and keep it beautiful. I just wish he treated his family like he did the land. <laughs> um, so I got you something. You got me a present? Yeah. I, yeah? Yes, I did my best on the wrapping. Well, it's lovely. It's a shark tooth. Really? You know, I used to look for these all the time when I was a little girl. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I, uh, I, I, I want to, um, I, I, I just... Hey, I didn't mean to push this. No, I, I mean, I, I really want to. I, it's just, in my past, I kind of, um, I just... 
Hello. I'm just happy being here. Somebody told me this place was like a postcard. I don't remember his name. for days. six I took all of my things I put them in my backpack and I ran away from home to my grandpa's house and my mom tried to get me back and my grandpa fought her because he knew that she was kind of messed up and the long and the short of it is is that uh, my grandpa became my legal guardian because my mom went to jail for a few years. Jesus. <laughs> that's my family. Yeah, I mean, that sounds insane. So she got out a few years ago, and um, I've tried to communicate with her, and she hasn't really reciprocated. So I'm not positive if she wants anything to do with me. Um, the way in which I talk to her is this. My grandpa gave it to me about 10 years ago and uh, I keep an audio diary of all of my experiences and I take the tapes and I send them to her. I started doing that when she was in prison and then when she got out, I kept doing it. I don't really uh, know if she listens to him. So there's, there's, there's good and there's bad in every moment. I've come to the conclusion a little bit. Um, and I can rationally explain to myself that the world is a fucking miracle because the chances of it even being created is the same chances of a tornado hitting uh, a junkyard and creating a 747. Um, the problem that I have with it is, is that I don't know if I necessarily engage in it. I, I, don't, I don't know how someone can look at something and uh, see so much light and I see nothing. I don't know. Sorry. No, hey, it's okay. But... Why do you keep sending her the tapes? I don't know how not to. I make them and I send them. Hopefully one day I'll have a family again. You will. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, baby. How you doing? Did you have a good time? Want to 
wonderful. Good. Bye. I'm just gonna go up and grab this one. Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> Where are you two off to? <laughs> We're just gonna go on a walk. You two is getting pretty close. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, she's not like anyone I've ever met, so. Well, listen, person, I know my daughter likes you. But at some point, we are going to need that room back. OK. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, I, you don't have... I can try and pay for it. Oh, I, I don't... oh President, no, 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 honey, no, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to assert that. Honey, I, I doubt that you could afford it anyway. You know what? Honestly, I'm just glad that you understand that that, that little girl means the world to us. See why? Okay, now if you will excuse me, it is way past my bedtime. Good night. I'll see you soon. I just spent the last three hours trying to convince this woman not to sue me because a chameleon came out of a palm tree and scared a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you like a hotel, don't you, uh, Preston? It's quite amazing, sir. <laughs> now there, I agree with you. You stay as long as you want. We like you, OK? Uh, We're going out. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, honey, have a good time. Wife. Hey, baby. Hey, what was that I heard that I heard down there? What, about the uh, chameleon? Did you tell Preston he could stay as long as he wanted to? Yeah. She looks different or something when she's with him. Yeah, maybe she's falling for him. Uh, good for her. No. no, it would not. Uh, Emily. She's young. <laughs> young people fall in love. Well, he did. <laughs> He's met my father. He's not going to convince him of anything. There, there are things that I didn't, I didn't have as a girl. Things that we have now, things I've been able to give to Kate. found this again. I don't know. It was a couple of years after Mama died. I don't know. It's eight or nine. this before it was a hotel? It was just wilderness for the longest time. Thank you. You're asking for any and all public files on that land, is that right? Uh, whatever you have would be great. I'm sorry, the police came years ago and took that file. Sorry, son, I don't have anything for you. Okay, so the files are here, but unfortunately you can't look at them because they're part of an open investigation. So I was told that they've been here for years? Sometimes cases stay open that long. There were really actually two cases, one civil suit and a criminal investigation. But the civil suit 
was dropped a long time ago. And you can't tell no, me? No, I can't disclose on the criminal. What about the civil? Emily and Walter Cather filed a civil charge against John Percy. What was it? Well, they said that they said that John raped Kate, their daughter, when she was younger, about 13, I think. Um, but it's possible the criminal investigation is over with, too. It's just that sometimes it, it takes us a while to officially mark a case as closed. Okay. My father, my father, he, uh, he used to fish with John Percy. this disease it's everywhere <laughs> sit, sit down I'm surprised to see you Listen, that part of yourself is telling you to trust me. Hmm? But I have no idea what's going on, and I'm running around all over town trying to figure out what you have to tell me without actually having to sit here and ask you. Well, you're here now. Ask me now. I know that there was a rape charge against you by the Cathars. I know that that charge was dropped, and I also know that you owned the land that that hotel was built on. You gave it to me. Yeah, I don't deny all this. So you gave him the land as a bribe to drop the charge? Mm-hmm. Seeing that land developed broke my heart. Then why did you give it to them? For Kate. So we could be family again. Even after what you did to her? did nothing to her, never touched her. Never touched her in that way, and never would. <laughs> she was my light. If you never touched her, then why give the Cathars that land? Emily wanted my land. I swear that girl was born with a little bit of the devil in her. <coughs> Some years ago, early in the summer, Kate biked over to my home to visit for an afternoon. She was uh, 13. But she still liked to climb the tree in the backyard. I was inside when I heard a fall, heard the snapping of the branches as she broke through them, heard a scream. When I got outside, she was unconscious, and her face was bloody, and she had scratches all over. But she was breathing. I called Emily. Expecting her to ask me to call 9-11, except she said she didn't have the money for an ambulance ride. So Emily came and picked her up, 
During the car ride, Kate came to, didn't seem to have any broken bones. So Emily just took her home and watched her. She was completely fine after falling out of a tree? Physically, I guess she was. <laughs> but mentally, she was fuzzy. <clears throat> she couldn't remember falling out of that tree. So once she had the toughest time concentrating, thinking straight and remembering anything at all. But <clears throat> it gave Emily a window. And a couple of years later, that's when it all began. Emily came up with this lie. And she told it to Kate, and she went to the police with it. She said that I raped Kate when she was 13. In truth, because she fell out of that tree, Kate did not remember much of that summer. Kate could have believed her mother's lie because it filled the void of memory in her mind. Kate grew to hate me. Emily had these photos of Kate's bloody face. She showed the police. It was hell. But she promised me that if I gave her and Walter my land, she would end the lie. She did. She dropped the charges. But they never told Kate the truth. Never told her I did nothing. So all I wanted from them when I gave them the land care about the law. <laughs> Why would she do that to her own daughter? She told me that she hated me. Told me I always put my land out of my family. Said a bad father like me didn't deserve a granddaughter like Kate. Emily, her mom, died when she was really young. kind of thing you can hit people in all kinds of ways when we see how fragile the world is it can make it more beautiful but for others loss represents the world's betrayal of uh, decency Her mother's death destroyed Emily, made her fear the world, made her hate it. Even if I believe you, I can't help you. Kate's already heard all this before. She's just gonna believe her mother over you. Please, help me. Write my life. before it is gone. We gotta wait till he leaves. Whoa. Come on, let's go. Come on. They wouldn't shake so much. It 
know, I can't, I can't even use a nail and a hammer. A 10 year old can use a nail and a hammer. Tell me about this fort. Um, some patriots built it after the Seminole War in the 1800s, and then the Confederate boys used it during the Civil War. You know, I, I used to come here all the time when I was little and play hide and seek. You know, to most people, this place is a vacation spot. Not to me. If I could go on vacation anywhere in the world, I'd take a train from Paris all the way to Siberia. Do trains go to Siberia? Yeah, of course. Like in Dr. Zhivago. And in Siberia, there's no one. I mean, almost no one. It'd be like, like my place. Like this beautiful, vast, empty place. You know that most people consider Siberia to be kind of a wasteland, right? Yeah, I know. I don't really care what they say. I want to go. Well, you should. I don't really have a spare thousand bucks lying around. I feel like I'll probably be paying off my student loans till I'm 40. All right, I'll make you a deal. When you're 40, we will go on the train to Siberia. Looking at the dark energy, genius boy. The phrase dark energy kind of sounds like a, like a hair metal band. <laughs> totally. It's like the opening act for a warrant <laughs> or something. So, um, can I say something? A little serious? Okay. Okay. Um, well, I want to tell you this uh, because I want to be honest with you. You have herpes? <laughs> no. Scurvy? Yes, I do. I do have scurvy. But um, uh, it's just something that I feel bad about, and I, I just, it's something that I, I want to be honest with you about. I knew it. You like rainbows and ponies. <sighs> I do like rainbows and ponies, yes. Uh, and... <sighs> so, let's just be serious for a second. I saw your grandpa today. What? Why? You promised me you'd never go again. I... I feel like there's some things that you may not know. And how would you know? He gave your parents the land to be able to no, build their hotel. He, no, he didn't. They paid for it, and he took them for all they had. If you don't believe me, go to City Hall. Yeah, so I did that, and the records aren't there. What? The records aren't there. They're actually no, at the I police heard station. You. I can't believe you went to City Hall. I guess. I guess what I'm, I'm, what I'm trying. Um... No, you promised me that you would never go there again. Well, well, well hold on. I, th I think. I think that maybe you should just listen to to what he told me. No. I, I think you should really listen. This is. Just stop. He gave. Your parents the land for their No, home. just shut up, okay? And he told me that your mom lied to you about being raped, and she used that lie to be able to force him into giving her the land. She was she was she was kind of extorting him. And uh What? And what else did he say? Huh? That I fell and I hit my head? And that's why I can't remember? Not that he beat me until I blacked out. What are you doing? I'm, 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 just trying no. to, I'm just trying to help you. No, you know what? You are ruining us. What, do you think you're some detective who can just come here and, and save me? You can't. I can't remember. That doesn't mean my mom lied. Mm -hmm. you don't, no. You don't. No. You know what? 
I told you never to go there again. And you did. And not only that, you believe him. Just, no, no. no you broke my trust into a million pieces. Just, just no. leave me alone. June 13th. They told me that there are all kinds of ways to look at the world. And nothing was right or wrong. They said that you cannot see the world through darkness, only through light. I've always tried to see the world in that light he talked about. I don't think I've ever really known how until the last few days with Kate. She's amazing. And I'm fucking it up. I was just trying to help her. I'm sorry, Kate.
Hey. You didn't have to come meet me here. Um, I, uh, I got you a present. So that, um, you know a little bit about it before we go to Siberia. It's amazing. I'm glad you like it. Why do things um, fall apart so fast? Um, I, uh, I found this, and, and I listened to it. Oh. You really care about me. And, um, not all those things that you were saying, I, I was thinking, um, the same things about you.
Hello? She might be resting. What are we gonna do? Nothing. We're not gonna do a thing. They're not gonna find out a thing. They won't find out, but Kate might. No, no. No, Katie, trust me. Well, you know, if they don't find out, no one's gonna come to the hotel anymore after John shot himself in the goddamn dining Just room, is he? Just your coffee. Calm it down. Calm down, baby. You know, for 25 years, I have loved you and loved you and loved you so much so that I'd do anything you say, even to the point of losing all reason. But you Maybe know what you I, didn't I realize that. is that you are completely insane. That is not this. That is not this, baby. What are you talking about? Baby, this is not baby. this. What are you it talking about? This. Would you just be still? Would you be oh, still? You lied to me. I did not lie You lied to me. You Listen to me. Now, this is what baby, listen to me. I didn't want you to grow up trash, honey. I didn't want you to grow up starving like I did. I just, I wanted. You didn't do this for me. Baby, I did everything for you. You did this for you. Katie? How could you do this Katie, to me? Katie, listen to and me. It's your grandpa. You. You don't know what you're talking about. You do not know what you're talking about. I gave you everything. Look around this room. I gave you everything. You took everything away from me. I didn't help. You were supposed to protect me. Baby, that's all I did. You ruined me. You ruined oh, me. Lord. You stole six years of my life and you ruined me. No, no, no. Yes. Listen to me. Get your hands off me. Baby, listen to me, baby. You stay the hell away from me. No, 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 baby. No, 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 baby. Hey, there. Hey, there, young man. What you have?
your mom. I know I haven't sent you any tapes in a while, and I think this will be the last time I send you something for a long time. One last thing about the story of the glass breaking. This city on the lake was once burned to the ground. Some said then that it was an ending. What do you think? What? 